Good morning everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jess. I'm a mom vlogger. I like the vlog about being in the blended family, two camera, two kiddos, my work schedule, virtual learning, anything mommy related. If you'd like to see those types of videos, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. Welcome to today's vlog. Um, I have some things I have to talk about, but I probably won't talk about it until later. It's about trying to conceive with baby number three. We'll get into that later. Um, we are up early. I got up at like 5 a.m., got myself together, took a nice shower, did my hair, makeup, got dressed. Um, I do have to go to Target today to grab my brother's 21st birthday gift. He's turning 21. Um, so my mom's having like a little get together with like the main family. Um, like what we did for Ollie's birthday and you know, we're gonna get him trash So I'm gonna get him like a hangover kit to help him out <laughs> for the next day um, And then I have to go to Walmart to pick up my pickup order Because I got Anthony some long johns and stuff for the winter He needed a couple more and now that it's raining a lot. He's getting like really cold um, And I want to make sure that he's staying warm out there um, and then Lily's leaving today it's friday so we won't have her all day but we'll have her a majority of the time that i'm vlogging because she doesn't leave till five and she's got a half a day today um i also wanted to mention that i have been batching a lot of videos like a lot of sit down videos and like a day in the life of lily a day in the life of my toddler um stuff like that just because it's easier i haven't gone back to work full time but i'm working full days on wednesdays it used to be only four hours and now I'm working a full eight hours and eventually it's gonna lead up to me working full time with the COVID vaccines going out. So I'm just trying to get a lot of videos done so we have videos. Um, I'm trying not to miss any again like I did last year. I think I did an amazing job of not vi missing one video at all, but I was also home and I was able to film whenever like the day before and get it done um so now i have pretty much like six videos done already so if they're randomly put in there then you know why um i just hadn't had a chance to film and i'm back at work um i just want to make sure that i have enough video for you guys and if you have any video ideas that you want to see please leave them in the comment section down below i would love to film them for you i know i'm a vlogging channel but i also do like routine videos um q a's stuff like that so if you would like to see anything please just let me know um i have a couple of ideas that i have written down that i'm going to continue to film until then um i know before this video the pacifier your video is going to be going up so you guys will see that and that was like emotional um if you haven't seen it i'll leave it down in the description box but it was a roller coaster um and i wanted to update on that today um so after a week and a half of not having his pacifiers at all, we decided, like, because he's not sleeping at all, like, he doesn't sleep very well at nighttime, he only goes to bed because he's so exhausted from missing his naps during the day, that he sleeps, but then he gets up around 4.30 to 5.30 every morning screaming. So, we decided to just give him his pacifier back for, like, nap times, and it's working. Like, he sleeps all night without it, but it's during the naps that he needs it like he needs it to fall asleep so yesterday i gave it to a back for the first time and he fell asleep within 10 minutes and just took his nap for two to three hours god sent so i'm just gonna give it back to him at nap times and that's pretty much it and we'll work back through that um but his teeth are still bothering him and that's the issue so i'm not really worried about him having it during nap times i just was really worried about him not talking so now that he's starting to babble and do all that so he might be picking up on words and you know getting there so that is that update um i'm gonna be waking up lily soon because she's got school today like i said and then getting them ready for the morning and continuing on with our day i don't really have anything else to do today other than to like fold some laundry and maybe clean up the kitchen um along with the target and walmart run but that's it that is what our day is looking like i will be filming a busy day next week because i have to go food shopping and ollie's got a doctor's appointment on thursday so i'll be filming that and i'm also filming um a day in the life of a full-time working mom i like i said i'm not back full-time but i can film like on my wednesdays that i'm like a full day of working um but the, that would be like what it normally looks like as me working 
all all the time um so that's that and like i said if you have any video ideas just leave them in the comment section down below i would love to film it for you guys um yeah we just got ollie over there watching tv like he always does in the morning and then we're gonna get started on breakfast as soon as lily comes down buddy what do you want for breakfast he's like obsessed with those like pop things on um the pop shorts on disney plus hey hey what are you doing <laughs> hey hey it's gummy it's gummy Okay, so while Ollie and I are playing with Play-Doh and Lily's upstairs doing her schoolwork until 11, I'm going to talk real quick about what's going on with baby number three. I'm just rolling out some Play-Doh for him to cut. Um, so we started trying in January. It's almost the end of January. Whoa. That stuff doesn't cut it, buddy. Here. Try It's the end of January, my period has gone, come and gone, but I'm not sure if it was actually a period. So it was two days late and I was taking pregnancy tests and it was coming up negative for what I seen, like I didn't see a line. Um, and then I got it and it was extremely light and to bear all the crazy details, it was on and off for like two days, almost three days. On the second day, it was extremely it was bad it was so bad that i ended up going to the doctors um i set up an appointment and i went there yesterday and she said that i could have had a miscarriage or it could have been caused by stress so she was checking my blood to see if it was a miscarriage and i'm just waiting for the blood results i also asked her to check my hormones because i had four miscarriages before i had ollie and it's been non-stop like i don't know what the issue is i would like to uh, correct this now and deal with it front like in the beginning then going through all that struggle of having miscarriages and emotional distress and it being just a hormone issue so whoa so that's where we're at i'm just waiting for my doctors to confirm if it was a miscarriage or not and then we're gonna go from there and I also asked if she could test my hormones while she has my blood. And she's going to let me know if it was a hormone issue or if it was just stress related. So that's where we're going. We're going to be trying again this month coming. Um, and wish us luck because I'm kind of nervous now to try. You have to turn it this way, baby. Turn it this way. Push it. There you go. You got square. Okay. So yeah, that's the baby update. It's kind of nerve-wracking at this point. Um, I've been tracking my ovulation pretty much every time my period is over. I have the little ovulation strips, but I think I'm going to also buy like the the ones where you can. It's not the strips. I don't think the strips are as accurate, and they don't give you like a definite answer i'm having a hard time reading them anyways because it, it'll go dark but not dark enough that i would think that it, i'm ovulating and then the next day it's just not there anymore so i always like i missed it in january but not by like much um so yeah it's kind of like confusing to tell If you have gone through something like this, um, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to talk more to you about this. Yes? Okay. Because this is just crazy. It's stressing me out. I don't want to be stressed out like this over if I'm miscarrying again. So yeah, that's our little update. And this probably won't go up until after we already ovulate again. So maybe in March. <laughs> We'll see how everything is going. Um, but that's our update. And I don't know, the rest of the day is just going to be like me trying to figure out my life.
said to me, to me, it seems like you like me too. We can take it slow, make sure we do this right. Canceled all my plans to be with you tonight. Alright guys, so we're heading to Walmart because I have to go pick up something for Anthony and then we are going to Target to pick up my brother's gift and then home. I got Lily with me, being weird. And we're getting mini book bags. Yeah, that too. And then we're gonna head home and eat dinner. It's like three o'clock now. Anthony took forever to come home. I'm pretty sure Ollie's still napping, so it should be a fast outing and then we can eat do something I don't know what me and Anthony are doing okay so I'm back from Target and Walmart Walmart honestly took forever I accidentally went to the wrong Walmart and had to go to a different one so it was a bunch of craziness um, and then Target was kind of super busy so yeah we ended up getting Taco Bell because Lily had to leave and go to her dad's there wasn't enough time to make dinner so Lily is now gone Anthony and Ollie are playing with Play-Doh again and I'm gonna show you guys what I got my little brother for his hangover you know remedies for the next day so his birthday is tomorrow so this will be what helps him through sunday hopefully um so i got him three big gatorades his favorite flavor is the glacier freeze so i got three of those and then i got a big thing of cheeses because that's his favorite snack along with a bunch of these rice crispy treats i got the assorted kinds i'm just gonna sprinkle them in there um and then i got him some tums that he get you on just in case he has some acid reflux I got peanut M&M's because, again, one of his favorite snacks. I got him some Advil to help with that headache that he's going to have. I got some Pepto-Bismol for his stomach. And then I also got some hand and face wipes just in case, you know, he throws up and needs that. Um, I'm also putting some cash in his card. I got a really cute card that said, I'll just read it card that says how can such a pain in my butt grow up to have such a special place in my heart happy birthday to my brother i'm gonna put 21 dollars in there and then i'm also going to be delivering him a really greasy lunch from mcdonald's um whenever he gets up so that is my gift and hopefully he likes it um i just know a lot of people are buying him alcohol and i just didn't want to buy that and be cliche i wanted to help him with the next morning when he's dying so I'm gonna pack this all up and then I'm gonna go join Anthony playing with Ollie. I completely forgot to put an outro for this video. I I don't know. Anthony and I pretty much just settled down for the night. He took Ollie upstairs for his bedtime routine. And then I just started editing this video and I realized there's nothing on it. Um, but I just like finished the video and me and Anthony were just relaxing watching WandaVision. Has anybody else watched that show and seemed like it's like starting to drag like it's not really giving any details whatsoever of what the show is about um it gave a little bit of detail in the episode that just came out but it was just like eh, i wasn't really liking it from the beginning um so i don't know i'm not the type of person who watches things like weekly i'm the type of person who like likes to binge watch like six seasons in a week um so yeah, I we were just doing that and relaxing and enjoying our time together. Um, Anthony's actually gone right now doing something really exciting that we hope to tell you about in the future. But right now it's just, he wants to keep it to himself and I'm gonna respect his privacy. But he's out and me and Ollie are just hanging out. He's watching Cocomelon. 
as you can hear. Um, so I'm just gonna end this vlog because I'm also doing like other things today, as I mentioned in yesterday, that I'm like pre-recording a bunch of videos. So I just need to like focus on that video and not have to worry about this one anymore. So I'm gonna end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.